Hi, great stuff. Welcome back once again to our session. Thank you very much for joining us. If you're joining us for the first time today, just make sure you hit the subscription button and also the notification bell so that you can be notified every time when we upload a new video. Otherwise, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we are still continuing with analytical geometry, also known as coordinate geometry. And today we're going to be focusing on this newly added knowledge, which is the intersection of circles, how to determine or rather how to prove that circles intersect. Okay, don't forget, this is not Euclidean geometry. We are still continuing with analytical geometry. Okay. All right, intersection of circles, okay? So you have to know that circles can intersect each other, and we know that they can intersect each other at one point, right? Or rather, they can intersect each other at what? At two points, or they, they, they may not intersect each other at all, right? And in this session, you'll learn how to deduce each of these cases. How can you determine if two circles are intersecting at one point, at two points, or rather they do not intersect at all using the knowledge of um, coordinate geometry or rather analytical geometry. Case number one, circles intersecting at one point. Let us first discuss how do you know when circles intersect at one point? Very, very important exam kind of question, okay? So if the distance between the centers of the two circles, right? It's equal to the sum of their radiuses. The sum of their radiuses. Remember to calculate radius, we use distance formula. Also to calculate the distance, obviously you use distance formula. Okay, so if you find that the distance between their centers, right? This whole distance. Because you'll have a coordinate here, A, B. You'll also have another coordinate there, let me say uh, C, D, right? So, if you calculate the distance from their centers, which is your D, right, you get the answer using distance formula. And you find that it is equals to actually the sum of their radius, right? Let's assume you calculate their radius here, radius uh, 1 and also radius 2. When you add this radius, you find that it's equals to that distance. Then you can deduce that those two circles are intersecting at what at one point and it makes sense looking at the diagram given here you can see that if you just go and calculate the distance between their centers and you calculate the radius this radius one plus radius two obvious it must be equals to r1 plus r2 the distance between their centers to prove that they indeed intersect at only what at one point okay all right, let's now look at a different case, okay? Case number two, circles intersecting at two points, okay? Uh, what happens uh, now, or rather how to deduce if there is intersection, but it's, it's occurring at two points between these two circles, okay? That is if the distance between the two circles is actually less than the sum of their what? Of their radius, okay? If you find that the distance between these two circles is less than the sum of their radius or radi of their two radius, then the circles intersect each other twice, okay? And you can clearly see this, right? Look at this. When you calculate the distance between their center here, right? The distance between their center, you'll get the answer. Uh, but... If you take R1, right, R1 is from here to here, and you add R2, it's from here to there. Can you see that it will be greater than D? Can you see? In other words, D will be less than R1 plus R2, okay? Or rather, R1 plus R2 will be greater than what? Will be greater than D, okay? So, in other words, this implies that the circles are intersecting each other at what? At two points. Okay, let's quickly move and, and see how to deduce when they do not intersect each other at all. Circles that do not intersect. Very interesting. Circles that do not intersect. And I think this is quite clear, right? If you make a diagram of two circles, maybe you forget 
this case is a condition you can just sketch these two circles and you can be able to deduce the relationship between the distance between their centers and the radius right because it will actually tell you so when they do not intersect you find that that distance between their centers is going to be greater than the sum of their radius right obvious you can see that this distance between their center it's actually greater than r1 plus what plus r2 then you will be able to deduce that what these circles what do not intersect at all because uh, in an exam you get a question saying prove that the following circles intersect or not if they do intersect tell us whether they intersect at one point or two points right but if you uh, what you do in all these cases just calculate the distance between their centers and check also calculate the 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 length of their radius at the radius check the distance deduce a relationship you'll be able to conclude using these three cases okay let's just quickly uh, do one example and just uh, show you how this question can be asked okay so here's an example it says prove that the circles x squared plus y squared is equals to 16 and x minus 4 squared plus y plus 3 squared is equals to 1 touch each other they want you to prove that these two circles intersect each other right so they didn't tell you whether at one point or at two points or what right so you just need to prove that these circles intersect each other right they touch each other it can be at one point or it can be at two points so how do we do this uh, what you do is you go and calculate the distance between their centers right because you now have two circles so we're just gonna uh, calculate the distance between their centers and for you to get the distance between your, their centers you must know what uh, the center the coordinate of each circle is at the center right okay so take a look at the first circle here it's x squared plus y squared is equals to 16 and we know that from this standard form this is a circle that has its center at the what at the origin right it's at the origin so what's the center of that circle it's zero and zero okay so let's move to the other circle here's another circle right it's x minus 4 squared plus y plus 3 uh, squared is equals to 1 we can also deduce the coordinate of the centers right so the center there will be what will be 4 and what and negative 3 4 and negative 3 remember we said you just change the sign there of the centers then we can now go and use our distance formula to now calculate the distance between what between their center i can just name this center 1 and this um let me just write it properly center one and i can just name this what center two i mean for circle two okay so this is center one. Oh no this is center one and this is uh center two so we're just gonna use the distance formula to calculate the distance between their what their centers okay so let's go and use that so it's x at center one minus x at center two squared that's the distance formula y at center 1 minus y at center 2. So it's going to be minus 3 there because of that negative. Then we'll have the distance is equal to the square root of 4 squared plus what? This will be 3 squared. Okay. So this will be the root of 16 plus 9, which is what? Which is 25. And the distance will be equal to 5 units. Let me just verify that. So yes, it's going to be 5 units. So we have now calculated the distance between their centers. Remember, this is the distance. Distance between what? Between their centers. Okay. The distance between their centers. Okay. After calculating the distance between their centers, we have also to calculate their radius, right? And sum up their radius, right? Because we want to check the relationship between the distance between their centers and also the radiuses okay so uh, sorry about this so we're just gonna calculate the radius for circle one so i'll just write r1 so we know that uh that 16 the this 16 here is the same as r squared right according to the standard formula 
So if it's r squared, I'm just going to say r1 squared is equals to what? 16. Then we apply the square root. So it will be root of 16. R1 will be equals to what? Will be equals to 4. Very, very interesting. Let's go to R2. So R2 is for circle 2 there. And you can see that R squared there is equals to 1, right? So I'm just going to say R squared uh, is equals to 1. R2 squared is equals to 1. Then our R will be 1 unit. Okay. So I'm just going to sum up. And this is R2. I'm going to sum up R1 plus R2, right? So that we can know what is the sum of their radius. And this is always the case when you're solving these problems. And like I said, this is an exam kind of question. Okay. So, but it's very uh, simple. So R1 plus R2 will be equals to 4 plus 1, which is equals to what? Which is equals to 5 units. Look at this. Very interesting. We are finding that R1 plus R2 is actually is equals to what? D. Why are we saying is equals to D? Because both of them are equals to what? Equals to 5 units. Okay. What can we conclude now? That indeed the two circles, what? The two circles intersect. And we can deduce actually that, oh, actually these two circles are intersecting at one point because the distance between their centers is equals to what? Is equals to the summation of their radius. Okay. So the distance between their center, there, R1 plus R2, I mean, um, this distance here is equals to what? Is equals to R1 plus what? Plus R2, which now proves that indeed the two circles do intersect or rather touch each other at what? At one point. Okay. So that's basically how you go about these questions. Very interesting and very simple. What you do, you just calculate the distance between their centers and also you calculate their radiuses and you sum them up, right? You sum the radiuses you calculate the distance, compare the two, use the three cases, and you'll be able to deduce whether they touch each other at one point, two points, or rather, they do not touch each other. Okay, great stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for joining uh, this session. Don't forget, we were focusing on intersections of circles. How can we determine if circles intersect each other or not? Coming up next, in the next session, we'll be focusing on lines to circle. How can we calculate the tangents to circle? How can we calculate the secant? How can we determine these points uh, between lines on circles? Okay. Otherwise, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.